as a master fitness trainer, one of the things I want to debunk right off the bat, building muscles and age has nothing to do with each other. Anybody can build muscles if you're willing to put the work in. You have to research everything. Just because you hear something on YouTube or hear something back in the day or somebody said it, they got 12 degrees, you have to do your own research. Uh, in my research, Master Fitness and my work, because I'm a senior, and look at me. I have muscles. No, no, I was not born with the muscles. <laughs> There's no such thing as no nonsense. You got to work for it. That's how you get it. That's how you get there. Hard work. And that's why, as a senior that I am, that's why I have muscles. Because I put in the work every day. And just because you're getting older does not mean you have to follow the same pattern as back in the day. Those days is over. Health and wellness is what's important. What we put in our body, what we eat, it matters. That's why we get sick. That's why we leave here a little bit sooner than perhaps we should because of health, because of nutrition, what we put in our body, and how much do we burn out of our body, okay? Because that matters too, which means cardio and getting out here working out and burning some of, this stuff, some of these toxins out of our system because you just can't let them set in there because when they set in there over time, they obviously they cause a lot of issues and a lot of problems. That's why you have to get out here and sweat it out. Aerobics, you know, dance classes, swimming, whatever. But you got to get out here and get that heart rate up for 30 minutes nonstop at a high rate. Like, for example, I walk, you know, three days a week, 20,000 steps. I used to walk every day, 20,000 steps, or five days a week, rather, Monday through Friday. Then I changed up to three days, uh, 20,000 steps. Because on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm in the weight room. My, ho my home-built weight room. <laughs> because I have to be able to concentrate. That's why I work out at home. I'm not driving all over the place. When I can focus and lock in right at home and build this, this unique body as a senior right at home. I got enough weights. You don't have to have a whole lot of weights, a whole lot of stuff, decoration and all of that. You need to just have the right stuff. Have the multi-machine here, which covers a whole lot of stuff. Some dumbbells, uh, barbells, and a sit-up bench, and that's it. And that's what makes this body look the way it looks. It's called self-love. It's not selfish to start focusing on you. You got to start putting more work into yourself. You put work into everybody. If you're a senior like me, I put work into everybody. Retired, you know, done jobs, help build companies <laughs> as an employee, like a lot of us were. Uh, even if you're a supervisor working for a company, you were still an employee. So we all, we done a whole lot. We done raised families. We done helped raise grandkids. We've done a lot of seniors. It's time to start focusing on yourself. Once again, that's not called selfish. That's called self-love. You have got to focus on you moving forward. It's all about the work you put in to help improve your health and wellness. As I stated earlier, it's not about letting yourself fall off and going into that back in the day uh, uh, traditional <laughs> mindset of I just sit here and I'm going to rock and cheer my way, my life away on the porch or whatever the case may be, on the sofa watching TV, whatever it is. You can't do that no more. That's out. That's outdated. Today's time, we work out, get in shape, take care of ourselves and continue to live our lives. There's so much more to do. There's so much more to get. There's so much more to earn. There's so much more when we improve our health and wellness. Because that's what it's all about. At the end of the day, everything is always about independent living. 
you know, can you independently live? Or do somebody have to spoon feed you? Or whatever the case may be. But you got to put the work in. It is not going to happen on its own. You have got to get in your workout plan. Get your workout plan. Get you some strength training. Some flexibility training. Get you some cardio. Whatever that cardio may be. Boy, you get that heart rate up there every day for at least Master Fitness World minimum 30 minutes. Get you some strength and weight training going. Get these arms built up. Get these legs built up. And it's not over. This ain't 1929, 1950. Okay? We got to get out of that mindset and listen to all of this foolishness. And some of it is actually is garbage. And start understanding it's not over yet. As long as you, we are here breathing, living, within live. But you got to put the work in. As I stated earlier, to get this body, you are not born with it. It ain't something just happened where well, you happen to you. No. It happened because of hard work. You know, everybody's human. And everything you put in, you put it's all about the work you put in. You only get out of it what you put into it. So if you put work into it, you'll get a lot, you'll get more out of it the more you put in. You put less in, you have to expect less. You can't halfway work out and expect to have uh, some big muscular arms, you know, because it takes time. Everybody, everybody body when working out uh, is not the same. Some have to do more reps. Some have to lift, put more plates on there. Some have to walk further. But everybody can get there if you're willing to put the work in. Don't judge yourself and look at somebody else if you get into working out, talking about how far they done came and I'm not there yet. You'll get there. You just got to continue to work. You don't stop working and don't, and we don't come up with no excuses about, you know, I done done everything. Stop it. <laughs> Stop that nonsense. You have not done everything. I can't lose my stomach. Well, you're not working hard enough. You're not putting it. You, you don't stop. Well, I've been working out for a year. Well, you got to work out for two more years. <laughs> it doesn't stop. Increase the reps. Increase the reps. Keep going harder and harder and harder. You never stop. And if you're a senior, you ought to have nothing but time. As I stated earlier, we've done everything for everybody else. You should have nothing but time, nothing but time to invest back into you as we have done for everybody else and companies and kids and, and now they grown and grandkids. It's, it's your time. It's not selfish. Self-love. That's what it's all about. Join Master Fitness Me. Subscribe. Follow me and let's get in shape because I'm going to work. And if you want to work and get in shape, you're in the right place. Nutrition is important. We got we to gotta make sure we're cooking our food properly. Make sure that we are eating a lot of fresh vegetables, you know, and that is so important. Instead of buying all of this canned packet stuff and all these canned goods like I was doing. <laughs> I buy all these canned goods and stuff, all this stuff, and I can understand why I'm working out and I'm still sick. I had to get away. Once I got away from that and got the fresh food, and then with my working out and all of the fresh vegetables and stuff I was eating, my whole body changed even more. My system changed even more. I feel better. I look better. Of course, I was looking good then from lifting all the weights and working out. But once I change my diet on how I eat and how I fix my food, man, that played a large, huge role. You know, it's always about what you eat. It is always about the foods that you put in your body. Fresh vegetables, you know, the salad, you know, the you know, all of that stuff. You know, I don't, you know, I went from a lot of white potatoes to the red sweet potatoes. I changed that up a little bit. And now you don't necessarily just have to dish everything or diss everything and get away from it because we're all going to splurge. We're human. 
But we have to understand, if we go on a splurge, remember the next day we got to get up and burn that stuff back out. We got to burn that gas out. And then we'll get back on, get back to the fresh gas, the premium they put back in our bodies. <laughs> so to speak, use that metaphor. But that's what we got to do. So, so don't ever deprive yourself saying, well, I just can't do that. I got to be perfect. Nobody's perfect. I'm certainly not. You know, I splurge. I eat some stuff, you know, every now and then that I should not eat. But the next day, <laughs> I go crazy working out and make sure I get them toxins out of my system. So, understand, don't get caught up in listening to all this nonsense about age and this. And it's hard to build muscles and heart. So you got to stop listening to all of that. Stop listening to all of that. And understand and do your own research. And put in your own work like I did. If I would not have put in my own work, I would have been walking around carrying, carrying the baton for them. Some of these people who saying all of this stuff. You can't build muscles because you're getting older. You can't build. It is just so difficult. Of course it's difficult. If you're 70, 75 years old and you ain't never lifting a waist before in your life. Of course it is difficult. But you gotta start somewhere if you want if you are going to do that, you gotta start somewhere and you gotta put that work in and you gotta continue to do it. Don't fall off or get discouraged by saying, I'm, you know, I, it just ain't working for me. It will work. Remember what I just said earlier. You 76, whatever the case may be, and you just start not lifting lifting weights, you have no uh, defined showing muscles, most likely. So you got to work your way there. It takes time. Heck, if you if you was 40 years old, 35 years old, and had never worked out, and everything was just soft, it would still take them a while, or you if you were back in the day at that age, to start showing definition. It takes a while. You've got to put the work in. And obviously, as we go, get older and you into your 70s, you ain't worked out. We're talking about 70-something years. Now, all of a sudden, you want to lift weights and build muscle, and then it's, you don't see nothing right away. Sure, you're going to get discouraged. But you are 70-something years old versus somebody 35, you know, and that's a long time to not build nothing. So, yeah, there's a discrepancy. There's a difference there. Sure it is. But you got to keep going. You got to keep chopping. You got to keep working. Every day, just keep working. Then all of a sudden, it'll, you'll start showing through. Your diet, the work you put in, it'll all start showing. You'll start looking better, feeling better. Some of your illnesses will go down. Your high blood pressure go down. Uh, uh, diabetes, all of that stuff will drop. All of that stuff will go down. Fitness and nutrition is the miracle medicine we have been looking for. I'm here to tell you, it works. I am, I'm it, I'm it. I was so sick at one time in 2003, I didn't think I was gonna make it. I thought I was on the way out. Kidney disease, high blood pressure, chronic pain all over my body, anemic, everything you can think of, I had it. Uh, Pre-diabetic. <laughs> Cholesterol through the roof. I had all of that going on. But I looked, the, I had the body that looked like I was in shape. I looked the part. But on the inside, I was slowly melting away. Fitness and nutrition saved my life. Like, subscribe, and come on and ride with Master Fitness.